Alright guys, so this is going to be part one of my 12 valve VR6 Audi drift car swap. Uh, today it's going to be pretty simple. So uh, basically I have the motor on the stand right now and I'm going to do everything that I need to do with the motor on the stand before putting it in. And then once that's done I'll take the, the 1.8 out, do everything I need to do before putting the VR6 in with the 1.8 out, and then I'll uh, put the VR6 in and finish it up. Hopefully it will go smoothly, but we'll see. So today it's just going to be the oil cooler. So the VR6 comes stock with an oil cooler that is a water, uh, basically uses the this factory coolant system to cool the oil, and you know, for NA, normal, low power purposes, this works great, no issues, but you know, when you are getting up there in the horsepower a little bit, you're going to maybe want to do an external oil cooler just to try to keep those temps down. So, um, I'm going to be going with an external oil cooler. You can buy kits to do this. Um, I'll throw a link for one down in the description. They're about $200, I believe, which is, you know, too much for me for just an external oil cooler. So, I went over to the good old eBay and found myself a... Uh, uh, a sandwich plate. Uh, this is meant to go between your factory oil filter um, in most cars and it is thermostated and I'll put a link for this in the description of course and it has 10 a.m. In, uh, input and output basically this will run to an external oil cooler which I also got one on eBay for like 30 bucks. Um, thermostat so this one is thermostated it, at 80 degrees yeah, at 80 degrees Celsius, this will open. Uh, you can go without a thermostat, but, you know, for most engines, it's just going to be a lot easier to tune when all your temps are consistent and your car warms up normally. So, I went with the thermostat one. It's a little bit more expensive, but still, this is only like $30, guys. So, you know, not that bad. Uh, probably going to have to do some custom work to make this fit, because it is significantly skinnier than the stock oil cooler so yeah that's about it let's jump right into it guys alright so the first step is obviously going to be to take off the factory oil cooler which is mounted right here I already have mine taken off it's pretty simple there's just one large threaded thing it looks just like just like this one but a little smaller take that off and then there's a coolant line it's coming out of the block right right there and a coolant line that goes back into this hose right here um, I think you can block them off I just chose to loop it it should be fine uh, you can see right here where I looped where I looped it so yeah overall not too big of a deal uh, that was pretty simple and then Here's where the stock oil cooler would be. Alright, so here's what came in the oil cooler kit. You got the oil cooler right here. Uh, see if I can focus on that. Uh, there we go. So yeah, this is the oil cooler. It's got AN10 lines. Uh, they're AN10 fittings. And it has an, it has this little guy. This is made so basically you, your oil filter is what it's made for. Would screw into there, and that would screw into where the oil filter used to screw into, and it fits in like this. So, you know, like that. And then any three quarters sixteen, uh, basically is what you want as a three quarters sixteen. It'd be actually optimal with this hole was three quarters and not larger because the oil basically comes in there out through uh, I don't know if you guys can see it out through that hole and boom but the issue is that this being loose so basically the oil goes through here out through this hole and then it's forced to go out this one and come back in this one so this not being flush right here is going to make it so it's just going to pour back out. So I'm probably going to have to find a way to like use this somehow in there like that. I don't know. We'll see. 
So basically, I need this surface to either be on the motor block or have it here. And I, this distance is obviously going to be an issue. So I found a piece of aluminum. It's about 16 millimeters thick. It should be basically perfect. And I'm going to, I uh, drew up, I'm going to get, my dad's going to help me cut this on his mill. And yeah, so I'm going to get that milled. And then also, this is going to be an issue because if it's loose like this, oil's going to go in here, come out, and then just go right back through that hole and not get cooled. So I think what I'm going to do is I found this other piece of aluminum with a, then this is a three quarter inch hole and it's perfect fit pretty much so barely any oil would be able to go back through there and I'm gonna uh, uh, get this made to be the size of this hole and then I'll just have it right in there and yeah so that's all Alright guys, so basically here's the finished product. So first of all, got this guy, like I said, off eBay. Um, and then I took this, I drilled a three quarters hole in this, which is perfect fit. Boom. And then I drilled three, three eighths holes around that line up like that. So basically the oil can go back that's the outlet for the oil and then I took that fitting that fitting that fit into here with the threads on it I cut it off I drilled it out and I welded it onto this uh, it's not the prettiest welding but it doesn't really matter because you know it's not under that much pressure it just needs to stay there and so that makes it so instead of this guy going in being all loose it slides right in and bam you can see that in there it fits tight that way the oil will go through there it'll come out go back through the oil cooler and uh, yeah so basically that's a cheap easy way that you can make a uh, oil cooler fitting so it'll fit together like that that'll fit on there like that it spaces these out a little bit too so that way it doesn't run into this water line right here and I can have hoses coming off of here. And then I just got a cheapo eBay, 30 bucks. I'll link this guy down in the description too. I have a fitting threaded on it right now, but this is just a 10 AN uh, oil cooler. It's like G plus or whatever brand. It'll be good enough for me. And then I these lines will just run to those. It doesn't matter which direction. It's really easy to set up. So yeah, I'll put this somewhere, like around my intercooler. And basically, yeah, that's it. So, yep, that's the spacer. It's pretty simple. All together, like if you had to do it, you had to get it made, I bet you could still, you know, 60 bucks in total or something, which is, uh, it's still cheaper than a lot of the sets out there. So this ultimately cost me $60 in total, 30 bucks for this. 30 bucks for this guy. This I had laying around and just drilled holes in it and cut it. Pretty simple. And then I had to get some lines. So pretty easy, cheap DIY uh, external oil cooler. Um, yeah. So that's it for the video, guys. Thanks for watching.